Welcome to an absolutely glorious day here in Edinburgh. The sun's out, the sky's blue, and the spring flowers are in bloom. I'm stood in St Andrew's Square, and I'm on the hunt for a really good cooked breakfast. Now, as you know, I'm of the opinion that one of the best, if not the best, breakfast in Edinburgh can be found at Renrock Cafe. I've done a vlog about it before. In fact, I'll quickly show you a bit of footage of their full Monty. It really is a colossal but delicious breakfast. But of course, people have been telling me, Roger, there are so many other places in Edinburgh you could try. There's the Marmalade Cafe down in Leith. There is Butternut Squash Cafe in Portobello. And here in St Andrew's Square, there are other options as well. Gordon Ramsay has just opened a restaurant here, which apparently serves a fabulous breakfast. But today, I'm thinking of going to Dishoom. It's an Indian restaurant with Bombay influences, and I believe their breakfast is different and exceptional. Can it beat the Renrock Cafe breakfast? Fancy joining me? Welcome to Rog Vlog. St Andrew's Square looking absolutely gorgeous today in the sun. Now, I haven't booked a table at Dishoom. I'm hoping I don't need to, but I believe it's very popular. So fingers crossed I can get a table. Maybe we'll come back and try the Gordon Ramsay restaurant next time. I absolutely love the ambience in this restaurant and there's a beautiful smell of incense burning in the background. Now I've been recommended to try the Big Bombay, which I think is probably the equivalent to the Full Monty at Renrock Cafe. So the Big Bombay it is, washed down with a cup of steaming hot Americano coffee. Yeah, thank you. Fantastic, thank you. Oh my goodness, just look at this colossal plateful. And it smells delicious. Have a look at this. sure where to start to be perfectly honest usually I dip my bread in the egg and then try the sausage but today I've got the scrambled eggs which has got spices in it a curry which I believe is fabulous so maybe that's where we should start with some of the bread. 
Those soft toasted rolls are buttery and delicious. That egg actually does pack a punch. After a few mouthfuls, it starts to get you. Oh, great crispy bacon too. With some sort of maple covering. Not sure what it is. Tasty. Next up, let's try those spicy beans, shall we? Mm. Quite sweet. I can taste the coriander and there's definitely something sweet in there, but spicy too. And just like the eggs, ah, after a few mouthfuls, it's getting into your throat. Really good. Time to dig into the sausages. Now, I'm not sure whether the sausages are spiced or not, so here goes. spiced but absolutely delicious actually it's probably a good job they're not spiced because I'm getting a bit of a burn on here all right I'm gonna eat the rest of this and you know I'm getting full already and my mouth is actually tingling so I'll finish this off and then I'll tell you whether I think it's better than Renrock Cafe's full Monty breakfast Oh, well, I'm back in St. Andrew's Square, and you know what? I'm absolutely stuffed. That was a great breakfast, and I was really impressed with the spicing. I don't think I've ever had a breakfast before that was so spicy. There was quite a lot of chilli in those Akira... Is it Akira or Akira? I'll have to check the pronunciation. Those eggs, really spicy, quite a lot of chilli in there. And those beans as well, really spicy, but quite sweet at the same time. So the answer to the big, very important question, is the Big Bombay better than the Full Monty from Renrock Cafe? Well, first up, it's worth noting that the uh, Big Bombay from Dishoom was about twice the price as the Full Monty from Renrock Cafe. So I'm talking 20 quid as opposed to a tenner. Let's start with the coffee. I have to say, Dishoom, the coffee wasn't the best. It was just a, a bog standard Americano. I was expecting something a little bit more spicy, you know, sort of to fit in with the spiciness of the food, maybe a special sort of bean, but it actually felt quite bland. So Renrock Cafe with its Illy coffee definitely wins on that score. In terms of the quality of the breakfast itself, can't beat those spicy eggs and those spicy beans. The bacon was good, crispy, and those sausages were fantastic. But you know what, again, at Renrock you also get the potato scone, you also get the black pudding, you also get the haggis, and you also get lots and lots of toast. Although I have to say, the Dishoom little toasted rolls were absolutely delicious. So whilst I really enjoyed the spicing of that breakfast, and it was definitely different, not something I've experienced before, I'm afraid that Renrock Cafe still edges it. So if I put Renrock as a 10 out of 10, thinking about the coffee, thinking about the value for money, I'm probably gonna rate Dishoom's breakfast as a, I don't know, it's so hard. 9.4, 9.4, as opposed to Renrock Cafe at a flat out 10. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Rog Vlog. If you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until the next time, remember, there's always something to see and to eat. So get out there and find it. Mm -hmm.